Today I will show you how we can build an AI voice agent that has memory about previous calls such as a customer's name or context about the previous conversation. That means if you call the agent it can reply with the customer's name and it can also recall previous conversations which can be useful to provide a fully personalized experience. What you will need is a spreadsheet about previous calls and we will use WAPI and N8 to put everything together and I will share the N8 workflow in my resource app so you can just download it and start using it right away. So let's get started. I created a spreadsheet that has some customer data. It has the first name of a customer, phone number and summary of a previous conversation. We are going to use this sheet to get all the information that we need. And the way it's going to work is when we have an incoming call to WAPI, we will have a customer's phone number and we can compare that phone number with the phone numbers in the spreadsheet. And after that, we will be able to access the first name of a customer and also the conversation summary. And then we will inject all this information in the assistant prompt and then initiate a call with WAPI. So to get started, let's open up WAPI. And let's open assistants. You need to create a new assistant. I'm going to call it customer support. And you can just click on create assistant. And we are going to use this assistant to initiate the calls. And the first thing we need to do with the assistant is provide a first message. And here I want to provide a way to call the user by their first name. So what I'm going to say is hello. You need to write curly braces. And inside that, I'm going to say first name. And then after that, we can say, how can I help you? So the way it's going to work is from N810, we are going to inject the first name that we received from Google Sheet. So for example, if the customer is called Emma, it's going to say, hello, Emma, how can I help you? So it will always call the customer by their first name. And for the system prompt, let's write a very simple one. I'm just going to say, have a casual conversation. And I'm also going to provide the context of a previous conversation. So what we can add here is the previous conversation was about, and you can add the curly braces here as well. And I'm going to call this variable context. And then we can click on publish. Now we have the assistant that will initiate the call. The next thing we have to do is go to phone numbers. And here you need to add your phone number. And the way you can do it is click on create phone number. And for example, if you have a Twilio phone number, you can click on import Twilio. You need to get your phone number, Twilio account as ID and Twilio token. And then you need to give a name to your phone number. I already did it with mine, so I'm not going to do it this time. And once you did that, we need to configure our phone number so that the incoming calls won't go to an assistant. Instead of that, it will go to our server. And this is needed because we don't want the assistant to pick up the phone immediately. First, we want to fetch the customer's data, then pick up the phone when we already have everything. So now what we need to do is go to N8M and click on create new workflow. And here we are going to create a new webhook. And let's switch to production URL and also let's switch the HTTP method to post. And I'm going to set the respond to using respond to webhook node. Then you can copy the production URL and we can go back to WAPI and to the server URL field, I can just paste it in. And once you have that, you can click on save. And also make sure that no assistant was selected down here, also no workflow. You only need to have the server URL. Once we have it, let's go back to n and let's add the wait node. And I'm going to add five seconds just to mock some server behavior. And at the end, I'm going to add a respond to webhook node. And then you can click on save and also activate the workflow. And now we can try this out. So I'm going to call this number. So now you can see that an execution is running, which is a good sign. So if I open it and let's open this one, you can see that we have an assistant request. That means that we have an incoming call and it's waiting for an assistant to attach to the call. And this is exactly what we are going to do. But first we are going to get the information from Google Sheet. So I'm going to copy all this data and go back to the editor and I can just pin this. And you can see that we have the customer's phone number. So we can use this to get all the information from Google Sheets. And I'm going to delete the wait node. And instead of that, let's add Google Sheets. 
Let's select get rows in sheets. You need to authenticate your Google account first. Then let's select the document. Mine is called customer's data. And we also need to select the sheet. And for the filters, let's add a filter. And I'm going to filter by phone number. And here I can just drag the customer's phone number. And I think it's not going to work. Yes, it's not working because this number has a plus character at the beginning of the number. And if you go to Google Sheet, you can see that we don't have any plus characters here. So what we can do is use a JavaScript method, which will be dot substring. And inside the brackets, you can just write one. And basically what it means is that it's going to cut the first character from the number. So now if I click on execute step, it should give me the customer's information. And now you can see that we have the first name and we also have the previous conversation summary. And now we can use this data to inject into the assistant. So the next thing we have to do is we need to respond to the webhook. And the way we are going to do that is open up the respond to webhook. And let's switch this to JSON. And here we need to provide the assistant ID and we also need to send back the dynamic variables. I'm going to paste in the JSON that is expected. So you can see that we have the assistant ID and we can get that from the Webby dashboard. So if I go back to the assistant, we can just copy this assistant ID and let's paste it here. And then we need to define the dynamic variables. For example, we had the first name here and we also have the context. So let's say first name and we need to switch to expression before we drag it from Google Sheets. Let's drag the first name. We need to put this in quotes. And we will also need to have the context. And this will be the previous conversation summary. And now it should be configured to sending this data back to Webby. So we can click on save. And I'm going to try that by calling the assistant. Hello, Tamas. How can I help you? Hi, can you tell me about our previous conversation? Sure. From what I see in the previous interaction, uh, you had a billing issue um, that was resolved on July 20th, 2025 by adjusting your payment method. It doesn't mention any specific recommendation uh, connected to the issue. Would you like me to go into... As you could hear, it greeted me with my first name and it also provided information about the previous conversation so everything works correctly. So this is a super useful method if you want to have a customer support voice agent or if you just want to simply remember to previous conversations. I hope this tutorial was helpful. I know this was a quick one. Let me know if you have any questions and I will provide the N810 workflow in my resource hub. Feel free to get it. You can just download it and start using it immediately. Thank you so much guys for watching. I will see you in the next video.